Today we are with Benjamin in a hotel of Barcelona. We are really happy to be with him because today it's his birthday. And well, let's start. Hi Benjamin, how are you? I'm doing very fine, thank you for having me. Uh, well, we selected some questions that a lot of fans have sent us in Twitter. And well, let's start. How did you decide to start singing? Well, since I was a little kid, I always loved to perform. And uh, listening to music has been my passion since I was small. So um, it just felt like an obvious thing to do for me. So I'm super glad to be here and have this opportunity to um, tour Spain, for example, and make music. And how would you describe yourself with three adjectives? Positive, happy, and um, how would you say? Crazy, maybe, <laughs> yeah. And would you change anything about you? Of course, I'm pretty like... Um, I want everything like now, so I'm pretty like, I don't know how to say in English, I'm like restless, so I should become like more easy on myself and like take it easy sometimes. And which is the best memory of your childhood? Best memory of my childhood? Hmm, I don't really know, it's a hard question. I really had a great childhood and I have many good memories, but um, uh, wow, I don't really know. That's a tricky one. I need to think about it. <laughs> and who is your favorite singer? I have many favorite singers. I look up to so many artists. For example, Chris Brown, Justin Timberlake, Justin Bieber, Rihanna, Lady Gaga. It's like many artists. I really love them. And if you were not a singer, what would you like to the boat? When I was small, I wanted to become a pilot flying airplanes or a doctor. So but I don't think that's possible because I hate school. So maybe I would be a, uh, I don't know, just like, oh my god, I don't know how to answer anything. It's, you have tricky questions. <laughs> and how do you spend your free time? I make songs super much. I love writing songs. Uh, I hang out with friends and um, pretty much on Twitter and Instagram too. <laughs> and well, let's talk about your new album, your first album, yeah. which is coming out today and your tour in Spain. Well. Uh, how do you feel today? Like it's your birthday, your, fir your first album is coming out. How do you feel? It's crazy. I'm turning 19 and it's the best present ever to have your own album coming out. It feels surreal because it's my fir first album and I'm so excited. I got a great response from the fans and everybody. So it's a good day. <laughs> and what's your favorite song from Fingerprints? I really like them all, but two favorites could be... Um, my first single, Body, and uh, the song with Sweet California, um, Man on the Moon, uh, they're super songs. And we, uh, our fans have asked you if you will announce new shows, new shows in other cities of Spain. Yeah, for sure. Um, Barcelona, Madrid and Valencia was the first shows, but I'm pretty sure we will do more and come to the north and south as well. And would you like to live here in Spain? Yeah, absolutely. It would be the dream. It would be so cool. And in which places from around the world would you like to perform? Everywhere, just everywhere. Like if I could say some cities, of course, Los Angeles, New York, Madrid, as I am now, and uh, London and <laughs> many cities. And what do you enjoy most of a signing? Excuse me? Uh, what, do you, what do you enjoy most of a signing? Um, I love meeting fans, it's incredible and um, it's just fun to meet new people. And how do you feel when you are with your fans? It's so nice because the fans are super happy to see me and I'm also super happy to meet them so um, it's pretty spectacular to meet them. And what's the craziest the crazy thing that has made a fan for you? Craziest thing a fan has done for me? Yeah. Wow, um, one year ago when I came to Barcelona for Primavera Pop uh, there was a fan who jumped from a high wall down just to hug me and I was like, oh my god, what is happening? It's crazy. But I mean, she's okay now, I guess. She didn't break her legs, so everything's fine. And have you ever been in love at first sight with a fan? Not in like love, like fallen in love, but of course I love my fans in a way, but I wouldn't say I have fallen in love like a girlfriend love, but yeah. And would you like that a fan teaches you Spanish? Yeah, absolutely. Come on, teach me anything.
And how do you feel when you see so many people supporting you every day? It's amazing. It's like the best thing ever. You couldn't wish for like a better way to start your day than reading comments of people who are supporting you. It's incredible. And well, despite all the people you have around you, have you ever felt alone? Yeah, of course. Like, I mean, pretty often when you're, I live alone nowadays. So, um, of course, there's days when you feel like, oh, I'm just alone. Like, it's normal, but not too often sometimes. And do you have any ritual before you're on stage? Yeah, I love standing on my hands, like on on the floor to get like the blood everywhere and get excited. Also, um, we used to scream with my uh, band and dancers do like yar and stuff. So we have our own rituals, yeah. And which things would you change of being famous? I don't really know. It's like I don't know. I don't really like the word famous because it's like I don't know what that really means. It's like, but I don't know. Of course, there's like people who dislike you, but I don't really care. It's like don't listen to me if you hate me. It's just, yeah, whatever. I don't really know. I'm not that, like, I don't have that many haters. So it's like, okay, so I don't want to chase anything. And would you date a fan? Of course, if the girl would be super nice and I would fall in love, her, love with her, for sure. And describe your perfect girl. My perfect girl would be, uh, I don't really know, somebody who I could have super fun with. Someone with the same kind of humor as I have. So super weird humor. I have the weirdest humor on the planet, so <laughs> yeah. And also, um, who's beautiful inside out. And what is the most embarrassing story you've had? had? I've had. Yeah. Oh my God, there's so many embarrassing things. Um, I need to think about it. What can I tell you? Um, embarrassing things. Wow. Um, once I was I had a show to, show in Finland. And uh, I pronounced the wrong city. I was like, for example, I would be in Barcelona. I would say, hello, Madrid. So it was kind of the same thing in Finland. And I just wanted to shoot myself. It was so embarrassing. And if you could have uh, one superpower, which one would it be? A one what? A uh, superpower. Support pow a superpower. Yeah. I would love to fly. I've always wanted to fly. And what's the best thing of having collaborated with Sweet California? Sweet California the girls are amazing. They're just like super fun to hang out with. They're super talented and uh, it's a pleasure to work with them. And would you uh, would you like to collaborate with any international artist? Absolutely, of course. Um, if I could name some, Chris Brown, um, Ellie Golding, well, for example, those two. And how do you get inspired to write songs? About everyday life. I mean, like, for example, I don't know, sometimes I start writing songs when I eat, I don't know why. Sometimes I wake up to an idea, like in the middle of the night I wake up and then I have to take my phone and be like, sell, like say the idea to my phone that I don't re uh, forget it, but it depends. And which are your three favorite words in Spanish? Words. Uh, jamón, that's my favorite. Uh, of course, te quiero is one easy. and. Uh, Caracola, that's my favorite, yeah. Hola, Caracola. <laughs> that's fun. And what's your biggest dream or goal you would like to achieve? I'd love to be able to perform and be an artist for like 100 years more. <laughs> it's so cool um, to tour the world. And yeah, I have really big plans and I have a big passion for this. So I'm super excited. And tell us, which are your plans for this year? This year, I'm having my tour in Spain. Um, I'll have a lot of things, I guess. I'm not pretty sure even myself yet. Let's see. And how do you see yourself in five years' time? In five years, I hope I got many more albums out. I get to be with my fans still. Um, just be really happy about my life and uh, about myself. And well, now we are going to do a little test that we have prepared. Well, some questions that you have to choose between two options. Okay. For example, paella or patatas bravas? Paella for sure. Oh, I love paella. It's the best thing in the world. And black or white? Black, absolutely. Uh, girls, brunettes or blondes? No, this is too... You can't ask this. Oh my god, it's... 
<laughs> I can't say because it depends because some girls look better with blonde hair, some with brunette. So I say both. I'm sorry. <laughs> and girls, short or tall? Oh my god, this is too hard. Um, me myself, I'm pretty tall, so uh, I think the girl should be shorter than me. So I don't know if it's tall or short. Shorter than me, at least. And salad food or sweets? Sweets, absolutely. Sweets for sure. And strawberry or mint? Strawberry. Adidas or Nike? Adidas, absolutely. Uh, beach or mountain? Hmm, it depends on the feeling, but usually the beach. And Justin Bieber or Shawn Mendes? Well, I love both. They're super cool. But I mean, I think I've been looking up to Justin Bieber more, yeah. And finally, One Direction or Five Harmony? One Direction, One Direction, One Direction, yeah. Okay, so Benjamin, thank you very much for answering our questions and we wish you a lot of luck for your tour in Spain. Thank you. Thank you super much for having me. See ya. Hello everybody at Creative Style. My name is Benjamin. I had a super fun interview. I hope you liked the interview and uh, I hope to see you really soon. I love you a lot. Mwah.